like that, how do we know? Yeah, it's good. Are you rolling? All right, hi, and welcome to another uh, Panthers soccer game here. The uh, 2 0 1 Panthers are facing their neighbors from the north, way north, excuse me, Erie McDowell. And uh, we're about 10 or 15 minutes into the game here, and wow, we start with a great strike there. And they're still battling in front, trying to chest it down. Looks like it's cleared almost out. This is Maddie. And it's out of bounds. Let us. Well, yeah, let us introduce ourselves real quick. I'm Gavin Williams. Mr. Wally Rolls with us. Yeah. So, uh, McClintock. Yes, sir. Boy. Look at this throw. Jeez. Oh, almost got a head on. From a directional standpoint, that's beautiful. We were right behind that. Probably Adam got a great shot with the camera. That was a great throw. They were going to their target guy, Mike Cartier, who's been pretty much the target guy all year and done a great job. This is Chris Burke, a sophomore defender, with a nice little touch. Gavin, do we know Erie's record? Are they? Uh, I believe they're 2-0, and oh, yes. Okay. And they're always a powerful. They're a huge school in the neighborhood of, like, North Allegheny numbers. Here's a Jocelyn. They, said they give him a play on. Cross just through the box. Mills couldn't get there. Riley's trying to save here. This is Andrew Riley on the wing. And it's going to be another Upper St. Clair throw. And again, this is Matt McClintock, who, as we just saw, is very dangerous on these throw-in situations. So here's Matt again going long towards the far post. He does have Cartier, but they have him surrounded. This is Andrew Riley. He settles. Back to McClintock now. Crossing for the far post. A beautiful ball. Oh, great play by the McDowell goalie off his line, but offsides is the call. My papers now. We're outside. Gavin has us set up outside, and Adam, we're sitting out on the benches out here in front of the uh, announcer booth. So I just have to blow away. Well, Adam's the uh, executive producer. I, I, I listen to his, I listen to his decisions and uh, and stick with him. Boy, the McDowell goalie made a really nice play, even though it was offsides there, to come off his line because it was a beautiful serve by McClintock. Now this is Michael Shuley, and ooh, a bad touch there, and McDowell's going to counter. Number three here from McDowell in the front. He's got some good he got Oh, yeah. He did have the best scoring opportunity. It was blocked by Nathan Brindle, but, and that's going to be a foul on uh, junior co-captain Michael Cartier. Free kick for McDowell. It, it really is a different game uh, this year on the new field turf. It's a new turf. That's amazing. It, you can do just a whole lot more as far as touching with balls than the uh, old, less forgiving AstroTurf. I haven't been down on it, but I'm, I understand it's more like grass. Is that what? It's unbelievable. It, it, it's if some of the rubber comes up, but it's very soft. I run on it most days, and it, it is really nice. Nice service, but uh, headed off the McDowell attacker for a St. Clair goal kick. You, you'll be able to see. I probably on the camera every once in a while the ball hit, or someone will kick up this looks like little pebbles, little dirt. It's rubber, right? Yeah, it's it's black rubber, um, and you can even see it on on some of the football games. Syracuse has it, for example, a new turf in the orange uh, in the uh, Carrier Dome, and it, it's very similar. Nice little flick on by Cartier. And to Chris Burke. Just to bring it up. Chris a lefty, huh? He plays left-footed. I know for a fact as, as his coach in basketball, he shoots right-handed, so I don't know. Ambidextrous. Yes, hey. Maddie coming on in his usual stopper position and uh, directing it out of bounds. We have a sub. Have a sub? Two subs, actually. We have a St. Clair, a couple subs for Upper St. Clair. Um, Michael Cartier is going out, and I believe this is Kyle Altcult, the freshman, coming into the game. Kyle had a goal uh, against Penn Trafford in the kickoff tournament, and he's done a real nice job for uh, the Panthers. Did he score against ball? Goal per game. We keep that up. Uh, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> probably second on the team in scoring behind Lenny Mills, who has about six or seven. He's really been a threat so far, but th he's not touched it much. Yeah, and he's only a junior, but he has really had an impact from his first day here. Uh, but he hasn't had enough touches today. They really, uh, they're, they're pretty much centering him at every point in the time by the uh, McDowell defense. And, you know, he's the guy, he's the marked man, no doubt about it. This is Lenny right here. Nice little play. And it did run. Michael Shuley tried to keep it in but could not. McDowell throw. A nice turn. Burke, Burke settles. Clears up. Kyle, is 
Alcott. Yeah, Kyle Alcott. It's, he's, he just moved here about uh, nine months ago from Cleveland and has done a really fine job for the Panthers so far. Yeah. Yes, sir. One of two newcomers. Oh, boy, he had him. Um, the, other, the other one is Yu Ishihara. Um, he moved here from, I don't know exactly where, Japan, is it? And, uh, oh, he has great foot skills. And he's really, he scored a goal against Baldwin and has done it. He is 18. Yes. Altcott with a nice serve down to Lenny Mills. Lenny's got it. Lenny's got some great, boy, Lenny has great speed. That young man there for his defense kept ahead of him. Right? Yeah, Lenny is very, very fast. And he's fast with the ball, too, which is unique. This is Maddie. She's on, Matt. Oh, he's going to get at it. Andrew Riley to Lenny. Oh, wow. He tried, oh, tried a little half flick there. That was, that's a tough play. He got it back on goal, though. He has a lot of skill. He's a great finisher, has an instinct for the net, and uh, that's paid off in the early going. He had two goals, and they were 4-2 to win over Baldwin, uh, Baldwin ju just Tuesday. The they were the number one team, according to the trip. Oh, good save by Sean Lewis. Cleared away. No, no rebound at all. The, the Erie McDowell coach is frustrated because uh, if anybody was there to knock that in, it was a little... But the senior, Sean Lewis. That was a nice shot. I've never seen anything like He shot it with his legs. Yeah. Well, I think he was leaning with the guy, and when he, the guy tried to go back to the uh, near post, his feet were in position, and he, you know, he made the save. Here's another sub. Andrew Riley is coming out. And uh, is this Nick Palmieri returning? Nick's number two, right? Yeah. Oh, it is. It's Burdett, Jordan Burdett. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it's those red lines are kind of awkward to be honest. That, to to make some sort of reasonable excuse for him, I've had an awful lot of trouble figuring them out. They're very bright, but how many times have you seen red boundary lines? Nice play by the McDowell captain. Boy, three is just fancy footwork. Somebody better get on him here. Uh oh, Burke kind of fans. Shot near post. Nice positioning by Lewis. No, I believe it is, and as you know, corners are very dangerous proposition at this level. And number three seems to be their do-everything player. He's going to also take the corner kick. We're halfway through the first half, nothing, nothing. Saturday afternoon, what, September the 10th. And boy, is it beautiful. Boy, great ball. He's going to save it before it runs its course and clear back. But Shuley with a touch, not out. Touching the forward, nice shield by Burke, and uh, Lewis comes off his line to make the save. Oh, nice throw. He can. This is to Paul Mary, right? Yeah, this is Nicky. Nick had some, at least he had some good skills last couple years. I, I'm sure he's got the same this year. Oh, he has very good foot skills. Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, he's had a really nice season so far. Uh, he had two goals against Penn Trafford in the kickoff classic, and uh, he's just done a nice job in the midfield. This is Shuley. Oh, nice. Ooh, wow, almost. Michael Shuley still kind of scraping off the rust from, you know, missing a year of soccer. He's an excellent lacrosse player and uses his body very well, very strong. Levine challenges. He definitely did. I'm surprised the ref blew that. It looked like he still had an advantage. Uh, if you can get away with it, I think that's a pretty good foul. But it's up to dangerous counterattack, and we'll see. Uh, you know, it's not that this is not a dangerous set piece because it is from the 24-yard line of the football field. But you know, they, they were every time the ball's in that kid's hands, number three. I, you know, good things have been happening as far as McDowell's concerned. Oh, great strike! Wow, good save by Lewis. If it didn't, it had, yeah, great sort of knuckling uh, action. And boy, Sean Lewis has been up to the task so far today, but he has been tested, probably more so than any game this year that I've seen. Number three is taking this corner now. This one's out to six. This is a good drop right in the middle of everybody. Matt McClintock standing like a stone wall. High and wide right. 
Eric McDowell's seen some good stuff, and we have some subs. And for Upper St. Clair, here comes JT Pye on a senior uh, forward. JT's got a lot of size and a lot of athleticism. Now Nick's coming back out, and Mike Cartier coming back in. Yu Ishihara coming off, and Andrew Riley returning. Guess it is a warm day. You don't want to have cramp and keep your guys fresh. Lewis with a nice, pretty nice ball. Boy, McDowell's done a nice job of winning the balls in the air today. Uh, very tough. This is Levine on the throw. Cartier controlling. Big Nate Brindle, the sweeper, heads it, but number three controls to his feet. Brindle coming on. Now Matt, nice little seal. And a nice touch out to Andrew Riley. He has some room. Ah, oh, bad touch. Boy, it low kind of looked like a miss hit, but McDowell still controls, and they got a lot of space here. Boy, the McDowell captain kind of almost fanned. He looked like he hurt himself on that. You know, the surface uh, does take a little bit of getting used to if you've never played on it. Perhaps uh, he kind of dug his foot into the turf there. Is it as soft as the other turf? The other turf, when you walked on it, it was like a, sort of like a cushion. I don't want to say soft to slide on or hit, but it was sort of like a cushion. Is this the same? It's, it's a different sort of soft. It's uh, It does feel, I, I hate to say it, it feels like grass. I mean, it really, truly does. At least when you're walking on it, not when you fall on it. But Nice play by Burke heading it, and this is Matt turning. And Buddy sticks with it. Outside of his foot to alt call. Kyle was looking for JT but couldn't get it there. Throw in, far side. And it looks like McDowell's controlled a lot of the play here, at least in, in the later minutes. What, what do you think the problem is, Coach Rolls? I don't know. I, they, they, they really attacked the ball better than we had. Matt trying to touch up. This is Kyle. Yeah, they're really coming to the ball in the midfield very hard. This is Levine. Touches up. Kyle saves it. Nice play. Yeah, he got him. Really unnecessary because Shuley didn't have anybody running off him. He, and he didn't really have a whole lot to do with that. It looked like the ball was going to be over him anyway. Now you have a dangerous set piece. Uh, Mike, Michael Cartier. Um, I don't know. We, we got this is about. Michael's a good striker of the ball. He certainly uh, can win the balls in the air very well. It's you know they must think a lot of him if he's a, a co-captain as a junior. Also a member of the Upper Saint Clair basketball squad. Uh, right into the wall. This might be outside the zone where we can really attack with it, but I think Matt will probably take it nonetheless. Of course, with Matt, you never want to say anything's out of his range. We do. We have another sub, and uh, Jelani coming back on. Yeah, he's uh, replacing Michael Shuley. Good Lord. Cartier flick on. This is Lenny Mills. That, ooh. Boy, and Cartier's your target guy, and he is good at it as far as flicking it to, to space. The outside of his foot, this is Burke. And we got a goal kick. Boy, St. Clair uh, defense has not been as organized on the back line as, in terms of uh, attacking balls as they have been. They've really done a nice job uh, up to this point. I missed the first uh, three games, but you're right, exactly right, Gavin. It's not as organized as we've seen them before. No, Nathan Brindle's done a nice job at sweeper, and this is uh, U.S. Ishihara coming back on for Matt McClintock. Looks like Cardia will move back into the stopper position. Burke did a nice job stopping the counter, but not another deep throw for McDowell. Nick controls. Levine 
Levine goes up and heads it. Now this is Cartier. They're starting to challenge a little bit and um, at least stopping some of these dangerous cross attempts before they start. The play has been down here quite a bit. Especially in the last 15 minutes of the game. Down to about 12 minutes in the first half, still nothing, nothing. We haven't seen any really dangerous scoring opportunities as far as inside the 18, though. No, I think that one that Matt threw in, it looked like he was going to do something. Yeah, that was scary. We were right on. Look at that little, that little young man is pretty good with the ball. Yeah, he's outstanding. It's going to be a throw in on the far side for McDowell. Right now, everything we're calling is McDowell. That's why you play a tough uh, preseason, pre-conference schedule, and St. Clair always does. Be, be sure to challenge yourself so you're ready to go. I mean, Thomas Jefferson was excellent. Baldwin, certainly. Now, this is Andrew Riley, who has a lot of speed. Far side, that's it. What a, what a look. I mean, come on, Len. This is Nick Palmieri now. Get it up, Nick. But, oh, he tried to scoot it through to Kyle and uh, almost got it there. A lot of space here for Mike. Get it up. Jump. Oh, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. There we go. Oh, Riley. It. Got it, Andrew Riley. Left footer, too, huh? I'll tell you what. 17? Uh, sent that up to him. Yeah, it was Mike Cartier on the cross. The, it looked like the McDowell sweeper thought he was uh, trying to the offsides That's trap, like. and Riley was kind of hiding behind him. He's not a big guy, and he sneaked in and really had a nice, strong left-footed finish. I've been, I've commented at least one other time. He reminds me of Eric Faduska in the way he plays. You know, he's, yeah, and he's kind of a little guy with a lot of speed and can strike the ball very well. And he had an opportunity and seized it. And well, how many times have we seen that in soccer? One team seems to be getting the better of play, then all of a sudden, boom. Exactly right. You sort of, you can't let down. Now, you've got to finish your opportunities in this game. Far side, Kyle, if you can. No one over there. Nate turns and clears it out of danger, and this is Levine. And at number three. Pion? Here we go. Who's he looking for? In the middle? He has all kinds of room. No, you, you taps it back to Nick. Nick sent it to Pion. Oh, he I don't know what he was trying to do, trying to flick it, maybe. Pop it in the air or flick it, you're right, but it didn't go where he wanted it to go. Levine chest down, but can't control. Indecision there. But Nate to safety, and Lewis back to Nate. Beautiful little play by Sean Lewis. Riley, nice turn. This is Lenny Mills running on. Oh, always dangerous. Unfortunately, Matt McClintock is not on the field. Oh, we're subbing him. Is he going to come in for it? Yeah, he is, isn't he? It'll be a few seconds before he gets over here. I'm sure from this spot you want Matt to come in. Yeah, and uh, truly replacing Pion also at, at this point. Now, look for them, as you've seen all day. Look for Michael Cartier to run off Lenny Mills here in the cross and be the target guy and try to flick it back to Lenny. This has kind of pretty much been a consistent play, but it's tough to stop because Mike is a big athletic kid. Here he is. This is Mike, number 17. Flicking it back. This is, I think that was you. He couldn't quite get up, but again, that's, and it's dangerous. Boy, great effort by McClintock to get back in front. Nice little settle. Boy, Lenny back to Cartier. And there it is. And this is you. Watch his foot skills. Oh, just unbelievable foot skills he has. Fortsy didn't see the guy behind him, and McDowell controls. Now here he goes. Palmieri with a nice little check back. Um, he's been, he, pl he was playing center mid most of the year, but he, I think he and Cartier kind of flip-flop as far as the two attacking center mids when Matt's in there playing stopper. Okay. Yeah, you got, and you got Lenny and Shuley up there as the, uh, as the front runners and, um, Yua Shihara and Andrew Riley as the outside mid. So it's, it's a lot of speed out there. It's, it's not as much size as they've had in the past, but a lot of speed. 
all quick, fast teams. Well, these, yeah, guys are quick. these guys are quicker. Oh, I think they are. And, but, I mean, that, that team last year, that's that's a college team for the most part. You're just, you know, it's kind of an anomaly. Uh, but this team has really played nicely so far. Look at this throw. Oh, right before we got there. Yeah, he came off his line nicely in the Manchester United goalie uh, shirt. Is it, how do you pronounce his name, number 17? Uh, Cartier, yeah. yeah he's complaining. He's pushing behind. Well, he's the target guy, and they know that. He's going to draw attention. Nice little move by Burke. Palmieri turns. He has space. Oh, nice little ball. But a great idea. He, you know, Lenny kind of had to wait up a little bit there as not to get off sides, and boy, that was close. I think it's going to run its course. No? Mike's got room. Oh, nice. This is Shuley. Keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Make the goalie play it. There you go, there you go. Too hot. But that's that's just good effort by Mike Shuler up front now, creating that whole opportunity just with a little hard work. And, and you never know what's going to happen. You never know that what that goalie fell down going for the ball or slid or whatever. Now he's on there. If you don't keep that up, you don't get the shot at that goal. And they know they got to do the little things like that because uh, other than Lenny, they don't have a real pure goal scorer. You wins it and gets fouled horribly. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, as, as far as a one-on-one -on -one individual skill guy with his footwork, he, he really can create. He's a creative player. You say he's a freshman? I don't know what year he is. Is he a, He's a junior, Adam's telling me. Yeah, he just moved here. Uh, he's really done a nice job already. This is Levine. Cartier, oh, he was... Nicky's fighting there, and he wins it back. Boy, great work by Palmieri. Right idea. Yeah, he was offsides. You was uh, trying to come in. Unfortunately, he ran the diagonal run when Palmieri had it almost on the uh, end line, and he was already there in an offside position. Nice play by Palmieri stepping. I thought he was going to try to send that through to Lenny, but he didn't. This is Matt. Now, you, you Ishihara has got it. Oh, nice little cross. Is Matt going to put this on? This is Tom Levine. Trying to get a little cute there, uh, getting it in. McClintock steps in. Palmieri again, nice little hook. Shuley. Yeah, he wanted to put it on. I know he wanted to get more than that, but uh, it was a nice little turn. It was certainly a good idea. Now there's a now that's that's more like it punt wise, but Levine wins again. All kinds of time for Burke. No, it, had, it checked up like a balata. <laughs> Look, looked like my wedges yesterday. And Matt McClintock once again getting an opportunity. Wind blowing this way toward us. He's really thrown into the wind, right? The way it feels like right Yeah, I don't think it'll bother him for some reason. Oh, he goes short. That's unusual. This is Riley on the turn. Now this is Andrew Riley. Uh, he's going to let Eric Levine come up and take it. Who? Oh, it's you, Ishihara. He's actually done most of his sends with his left. Now, it's a little deep. Ah. Uh, yeah, Chris tried to chest it down to his feet there and uh, kind of had a, a little bit of an errant touch. 
subs. Well, at least one or two. Yeah, McDowell subbed pretty liberally. Uh, I guess when you have the school the size of Erie McDowell, you probably have a lot of guys who can play. But, you know, we'll see in the uh, last 20 minutes of the game if they're the fresher of the teams. On a day this hot, you know. I don't know, we're in the shade, but it feels like a nice breeze. wonder if we're getting this down there. And across to nobody other than Sean Lewis off his line to make the play. He's got Nick. Nick has plenty of room if he can bring it down quickly. Now 15 is going to close on Uh, not the touch he wanted. I mean, he, I he, he had Matt, but way back. And another uh, ball really to nobody back there, and Levine's going to have time. Yeah, now they're playing long ball for no reason, really. We're actually playing the better passing game. Yeah, we've uh, really made some nice uh, combinations lately. This is Matt. Nice touch. Well, they're, they're not pressuring as hard as they were. We've had a lot of guys with a lot more space uh, than. Oh, here we go. Nice play by Levine checking back. Beautiful. And it sneaks through. And harmless. Yeah, he's getting more confident back there as far as starting the counterattack, and this is effective. Well, Nick's going to win it anyway. Did it the hard way. But to nobody in particular there. And McDowell's on a counter here. Right up the middle. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. One, one too many touches. Levine has some room out here to rally, and he goes to him. Oh, this is a non -contact sport, right? Yeah, it was a good challenge right there. Boy, it spun in. Nice play by Riley Backheel. No, it had backspin on it. It was pretty amazing. This is Lenny. No, no. What's something going on back here? Can't be Lenny up there. I believe we have some uh, dissent. That would be on the air of McDowell captain. I told you it was dissent. I could hear him mouthing. I mean, it's, it's tough for us. I'm telling you, it was spinning backwards. I'm not claiming it didn't go out. I couldn't even tell you from here, but it was definitely spinning backwards. It's kind of a silly thing to argue about to get a yellow card. It's not like it was an important juncture of the game. We're inside of a minute at this point, and we will have a drop ball. I don't know what he's yelling. Oh, yeah, that's probably what he's saying. The yellow card, St. Cloud had the ball when it happened. Why is it and then neutral? Nice play by Andrew Riley. Yeah, really beautiful. Oh, Shuley on. Oh, they had advantage. Coach, Coach Hunter. <laughs> Oh, nice touch by Cartier. This is Lenny Mills. Oh, boy, he got a lot on that, too, driving. More than I thought he was going to. The goalie got hurt on that, I think. I think he took a kick from Lenny. Yeah, that's going to run the end of the first half. A nice opportunity there towards the end, and Upper St. Clair leading 1-0 at halftime. See you shortly. It's the nothing, Upper St. Clair. Uh, yeah, the first half I thought was pretty evenly matched. St. Clair had, had the uh, end of the half, came on very strong, got a, a nice a go on, a nice play. Michael Cartier had a beautiful cross, and Andrew Riley with a left-handed volley finish. And uh, right now, or left foot, yeah. Yeah, the hand of God. Uh, <laughs> no, that's... Yeah, he was gimping pretty good at halftime. Uh, I, I noticed, uh, you know, you, you said he had come up lame, and I, I, I didn't see it when it first happened, but it, you could see it certainly at halftime. Since this is a non-contact sport, these guys, you know, they don't get hurt. Yeah, not, not in the whip it isn't. <laughs> this is Nick. Oh. 
And uh, it's gonna be a free kick. Yeah, the non-contact aspect is coming to play quite a bit today. Been a little physical. This is Levine. Uh, Nikki had a chance there. Not a real, not a real good touch. Yeah, I think you, I think you're right. Touch back to Burke. Oh, Maddie, nice chest. This is Lenny trying to turn. Touches to Shuley. Shuley seals. Wow, great strike by Michael Shuley. Was heading right inside the far post, and the goalie. I'll tell you what, the goalie made a nice save, but he made an even better play to cradle it because Lenny's about to just top that in. Oh, hell of a punt. Here's three again. Nice little pass. Here's our first shot of the second half. Sean Lewis up to the task as, as per usual in this, this game. Yeah. Well, we've been so lucky to have, I mean, last year having two goalies to the level of uh, Joe Diedrich and Andrew Baldus there. Nice win by Michael Cardi, and he has some space here. Touching it to a streaking Nick Palmieri. Nick is going to win it here now. Going to the goal line. Andrew touches to Burke. Shirley touches over. This is Nick again. Trying to sell, couldn't do so, and uh, cleared away, but not out. Burke touches out to Riley. Nice turn by Andrew Riley. Oh, Shirley couldn't, yeah, this is you. Dropping to Levine. Levine comes in, nice play. Is Lenny on? I did, but it's gonna be a play on. This is, this is you coming in. Boy, he tried to one-time that at about just outside the 18 and couldn't uh, quite get good good piece of it. Oh, absolutely. It just was the degree of difficulty was high. I think we ought to mention at this point, uh, I, I, I don't know why uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but because uh, he is a very important piece of the puzzle, Tyler Stevens, a senior midfielder and one of the Panthers' really most consistent players, uh, played a lot last year, is injured, is not playing today. And that, that's a pretty big loss, uh, you know, in the St. Clair midfield. Yeah, he did. And that's, that's a little tried to outside flick it onto a, the guy running to the left far post and uh, couldn't quite get there. It's going to be a goal kick. But, yeah, Tyler, uh, he's been instrumental. He had a nice, a really nice goal against Baldwin apparently on Tuesday. And, uh, you know, he, he will be sorely missed. TJ was very good. No, uh, the last of the Brown brothers, Ryan Brown, was just outstanding. He had their one goal, and uh, he hit the post, I think, two or three other times and really controlled play. I thought St. Clair actually had the better of play that game, but uh, they, they really missed a lot of scoring chances. And then the next day against Penn Trafford, they you know, made up for that and then some. But, you know, PKs is uh, kind of a crapshoot to begin with. Boy, this guy can really, really drop kick it. Flick on by Palmieri. Oh, look. This sweeper uh, for Erie McDowell, number 14, is excellent. Really done a nice job on Lenny one-on-one. -on -one. He's better than anybody I've seen so far this year. Trying to touch out here. This is the captain. Levine steps in and wins. Ah, you couldn't quite control it. He had a lot of space up the wing. McDowell on the restart here. Oh, nice touch in. Good play by Levine, though. Boy, he did save it. Nice play by Chris Burke, and this is Palmieri. Oh, great play. Boy, it could have been a push. Boy. The goalie's very confident. I give him credit for that. Look at the size advantage Chris Burke has. This is Riley. Look at Riley's speed. Oh, beautifully has Lenny coming. 
Uh, the goalie was in great position. I give him credit, credit for that's kind of lucky. Meanwhile, when Lenny was down deep, he didn't really have a lot of net from the angle he had. No, he didn't, and Lenny did what he had to do, and he, he won the corner. You know, it, no reason to get cute for that. Bang it. If it goes in off him, then, then so be it. Otherwise, win a corner. So this will be Yu Ishihara taking our corner. Yu's had a couple nice in-swingers here. Well, that had a chance. Oh, Nick, trying to get through traffic. This is the McClintock. By Amy McDowell, defending beautifully. But look at Matt running back on and trying to get back into the play. Great effort. Look how fast this kid is. Nice touch up. This is dangerous. Nathan Brindle gets all ball. Beautiful. He kept it in. Well done. Time and time again, we've saw Nathan Brindle being the last line of defense and doing it well. This is Lenny. Nice touch up. And Nick has room. Yeah, surely was off. But Lenny's on. Nice play. The marking back really timed that well. Matt coming on and winning it. Nick Palmieri. Oh, wow, nice little touch through. And he has Shuley. Shuley's going to try to turn and face. Dropping his support to Riley. Unfortunately, it went harmlessly to the goalie, but uh, they're starting to move a couple more guys into the attack. They had six up strong and uh, doing a nice job. Oh, Levine. Oh, they called Levine for screening him there. Direct just outside the box. Wow. And Uve screaming that that was kind of unnecessary. Lewis had it, but, uh, you know, Lewis did not attack it right away, and it took a bad hop, you know. Either way, it's a scary opportunity here. This number three has been very creative. I kind of, I have a tendency to agree with you. Uh, and this is certainly a scary place to have a set piece. I think that goes without saying. Oh, it was deflected. I believe off one of the St. Clair defenders. Yeah, I think it was Nathan Brindle actually who, who uh, it kicked off the, the outside of his body and uh, will be a corner. Yeah. I could be dead wrong, of course. That's what I thought I saw. <laughs> they do have a guy to play short to here, so uh, you know, I kind of have to watch that. Not they're not going to do that. We're way outside the 18. And Levine does. St. Clair running out to try to pressure. Steps in. Nice little give and go by McDowell. Cartier wins beautifully, and we do have a counter here. Looking for Lenny Mills. St. Clair's been trying to get a little too dramatic here with some of the longer passes. I think uh, they can play some more control and uh, try, to put, try to put some of the shorter passes together like they were doing at the end of the first half. And they were doing it well uh, at the end of the first half. This is Michael Shuley. Good with his back to goal. This is Cartier. Buddy, he gets it there. Burke turns and... Nice little stop and go. Oh, Riley got it through there, and I think that's a St. Clair throw. And we got a sub, and Mike Shuley's coming out. JT Pion back in the game. Uh, I don't. I think. I think now the thing is, you're the only guy who can trigger a sub. But once you sub on your own throw, I think anybody can. Because we've seen a lot of double subs today. This is Matt again. Wow. Oh, great flick on by Cartier. Uh, I couldn't quite win it again. Boy, he had pie on there, and that was. This is you. Yeah. You, Ishihara. Um, yeah. 
Absolutely, a beautiful little uh, cross, and, and you timed that perfectly. He was even, which was on. Yeah, he and JT Pion were both even as on, and uh, I don't know if they were trying to trap him or not, but they, they were running all alone. They were out here on the, on the right-hand side by themselves. That was a nice kick, too. Very nice kick to put it in. Either. Yeah, you that's his second goal as a Panther. He scored now in two consecutive games, and uh, he's starting to catch fire. He missed a lot of opportunities, but he was always in the right place those first couple games, and now he's starting to capitalize. So now Erie McDowell is going to have to get a little more aggressive, I think. 2-0 two, two is a, an awful big deficit in soccer. Nick Shields, nice little touch. And then here he comes. The tireless Matt McClintock. Yeah, he does some of his, some of his best running just to get to throw it. At least he's not at uh, marking back this year and has to come from the opposite side. He's, he's in a central defensive position. Going near post for Cartier. Oh, wow, Pion almost got that. Boy, JT attacked aggressively and tried to just get a nice little touch flick, and uh, goalie was right there, but it's good aggression. Yeah. Boy, Matt goes long. This is you trying to head it on. Oh, bad touch. Oh, double touch and Matt wins it back. Oh, back flick. Oh, you tried to do a, trying to get a little fancy here. Oh, Cartier wins it again. Whoa. Oh, he has JT running on. Couldn't quite get there. Oh, Nick almost had it. Boy, that, that took a heck of a hop. I think Nick had it timed and uh, it just kind of took off on him. And that's, my friends, why you do the quick restart. Because Erie McDowell was very, very unorganized back there. And, uh, you know, JT had a chance and Nick had a chance. Good front running. More McDowell subbing. Yes. Yeah, the man wearing the armband, he, uh, look, I think he's been playing pretty much a, a central midfield, maybe the defensive midfielder. What, are you wearing armband this year? Now, some teams do, and I think some teams just let you know who is the captain. The speaking captain for St. Clair is Matt McClintock. This is Pion. Whoa, quite a collision. And Matt, yeah, they're going to get Matt for retaliation. You got to keep your cool, unfortunately, and uh, retaliation is the most obvious fouls that you get. And we did have the counter. It's always the second guy gets yeah, it always is. I know that from experience. Nice play by Riley. And this is Lenny, and he has space. He's looking for a streaking pie on. Boy, and it was, it was real close. Yeah, he started his run, and uh, Lenny it took, took us a split second longer to make, you know, send the ball. Boy, it was a great run, though. That's exactly the type of thing you need to do. Nice touch there by Burke. He's had he's had the, that issue part of the year, uh, just not sending it quite in time. Well, he's so talented with the ball. Oh, here's number three. Oh, he touched it. He, he definitely did. He hit it wide. I, it, I feel like every good scoring opportunity McDowell had has been has been created off the foot of number three. Boy, is he quick. He's one of those kids who looks like he's moving at like 45 record when everybody else is a 33 like Cam Griffin was. Dangerous cross. Boy, you would, no, you would have liked to have done more with that. It was a half volley with his left and I uh, just kind of missed it. And St. Clair's definitely gotten the better of play this half. 
goal kick and a pretty good one. Yeah, it was a huge push off by 17 of uh, McDowell. And here's Mike. Touching on to JT. Trying to tap to himself. Nice, he gets it to Mills. Had a chance there, but... Doesn't matter, we got a St. Clair throw here deep. That was a nice ball by Cartier and JT Pion with a nice little flick over to Lenny Mills. That's always dangerous when Lenny gets it that deep. In case you are just joining us, St. Clair does lead 2-0. Uh, goals by Uishihara in the second half and Andrew Riley in the first half. And This is Matt McClintock. Yeah. Oh, Pion just missed it. Oh, boy. JT just missed it, and I think that was, that was Nate Brindle all the way up from his sweeper spot almost getting a piece of that. Not a real strong punt again. I guess that's a problem with drop kicking. It sometimes, uh, you know, you, you get some shanks like that. Levine throws. Pion sells nicely. JT still got it. Crossing to Mills. Oh, boy. Great stuff by JT Pion down the right wing. He's just a big, strong, athletic kid, and so uh, he's tough to get when he has the ball. Yes, he does. He will be uh, the lone senior member on the Upper St. Clair basketball squad this year. This is Riley touching it up to Palmieri, and an errant touch. Uh. Paul Mary's being replaced by Kyle Altcult and uh, Mike Shuley back. JT Pion had gave us some real good minutes there. Nick Nick Paul Mary's been very active today. He's played a fairly good game. We, we mentioned he's he's carried a little too much at times, but he's always in the middle of the action and uh, he's done a great job counterattacking. Well, the reason you mentioned his name is exactly right, Gavin, because he is in the middle of the action. He always seems to have the ball or be around it. You just develop a little quicker touch, get rid of it, and get it back again. He's only a junior, so he has plenty of time. Got some space here. Nice ball. Burke couldn't quite get there, heads it down. Brindle Shields and Sean Lewis out to make the play. I'd say Sean's had a great day today. I really, really would say that. Punts it to outs to the side. Surely has it. Back to Levine. Oh boy, good idea. Matt trying to flick it over. Nice touch down the wing. This is Kyle Altcult. Nice crossover. Another crossover. It's a little high for Lenny, but boy, Kyle Altcult showing off some skills over there. Double crossover, beautiful little uh, strike to cross, and uh, Lenny got a head on it. Wow. Yeah. And here comes number three again. Got a far man up there, yep. Boy, dangerous deep cross. Little too long for him. That's quite a weapon when he hits that uh, that, that, that drop kick. Uh, yep. It's quite a weapon because it's long. And it's a more direct strike. It's not that high either, so you don't have time to react. I guess his leg's OK. Yeah. Cartier, nice step over. He has Kyle Altcult, beautiful ball. This is Riley. Oh. I believe that's the same thing we saw earlier with someone digging too deep into that turf and uh, kind of getting underneath it. No, but boy, Mike Cartier, a really nice touch there. He's had a great game today. Yeah, the junior co-captain uh, standing like a stone wall in the midfield as well. Touched on the wing to really to nobody. Yeah, but I think, uh, did St. Clair deflect that? No. And more uh, for St. Clair substitutions. 
And I believe Palmieri is returning. And that's Burdett again, yeah. Matt to Palmieri and uh, touches it out of bounds to McDowell. Nice aggressive play by Kyle. Surely looking. I think he thought Lenny was just sprinting up. Well, that isn't going to hurt you up to nothing this late in the game. 20 minutes left. Yeah, it was. And it's they're back to him. Oh, what a touch through. Sean Lewis out and cutting off. Beautiful. Sliding at the foot of the attacker and making a great save. Sean Lewis has been up to every test today. Great positioning and an excellent save to preserve the 2-0 lead. Levine looking up to Shuley. Shuley with a touch on to Lenny Mills. And a goalie off his line beautifully. Brodet with the head. Yeah, he looks a lot like him. They even move similarly. Touch on, this is Levine. He's got a oh, bad touch, and this is Andrew Riley countering. Nice touch. He was even on there. This is Mike Shuley all alone. Oh! Boy, the goalie started coming out aggressively, and Shuley had the right idea to chip it over him. He just got a little underneath it. Pretty nice strike. A lot of subs now. This is Pion coming in for Lenny Mills. And Riley's also getting a nice, a well-deserved breather. Ueshihara back in. Now McClintock coming out and Cartier coming back. A lot of energy today from the Panther midfield, especially in the second half. They've really done a great job. Altcar wins. Pion touches over. He had Palmieri running, but he couldn't quite get it there. Boy, another bad touch. Cartier to Palmieri. And that's the captain again. That's that's, yeah, I believe that's his second yellow. That's a soft red. His second uh, yellow card for descent today. And I don't believe you go a man down when you get a, a, a soft red in the whip heel, But yeah, that's a soft red, I believe. I'm not sure. It must have just have been frustration. He's had a couple bad touches in a row. I didn't either. It's got to be descent again. Well, they only have 10 guys Well, maybe they do have to play a man down. I, I, I didn't either, but I don't, I don't know the accumulation rule. Yeah, that's well. Yeah, I, I thought it was. I thought he didn't play a man down either, but. Um, they change these rules so often. I have truly no idea. Oh, he said it was a hard red. That's what they just said to the coach. Oh, nice, beautiful run by Ishihara. You sliding, can't quite get it. Tried to tap it back. It's going to be a corner. Boy, it's another off. They, another failed offsides trap. They've had a bunch of those today. You was running all alone. He couldn't quite settle it, but uh, wins a corner. Nice cross. Oh. oh. 
That's why they tell him to head it down. Kyle Altkalt had uh, was his sight set on the upper 90 in the left corner, but uh, couldn't quite get it underneath and uh, be a goal kick. Yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It seems like there's more every year. But as long as they get the crowd fired up for basketball season, I'm uh, not, not concerned. Surely with a little push, yeah, they got him. He's a strong, physical kid. Uh, surely likes to play with his back to goal and uh, does generally a good job creating space for himself. Nice win by Burdett. Still kind of pinging it around here in the midfield. And Sean Lewis communicating and throwing out to Boy you Nice little flick on. Looking for pie on, but boy, that was a creative touch to himself. Beautiful work. Brindle comes on and wins it. This is pie on trying to flick on to Palmieri. JT using his body nicely. Controls. Now touches, do a little stop and go. Looking for Palmieri in the middle. Oh, hit, hit the football uprights. J, JT's to can play was clearly deflected. I can't believe they called this a goal kick. It was so, oh no, they got it. Yeah, they got it. I mean, it was clearly deflected with huge spin. Now we got some more St. Clair subs here. McClintock re-enters along with Lenny Mills and I think Andrew Riley. Burdett with a nice ball. McClintock heading it down. Boy, dangerously across the goal line. And another corner. Boy, and, and the McDowell defensive took, defenseman took the worst of that collision. And so Burdett will cross again. That's a little far there, back post. Matt trying to get ahead on it again. Riley steps in, couldn't quite get it. And it is cleared. Nice ball by Palmieri. This is Burdett. He had Pion, goes deep instead. Matt trying to win it with his head. And we got a throw in. I would think so. Yeah, he stepped in hard on that collision with uh, Burdett. And he's going to get a get an injury sub. And another McDowell sub. Matt McClintock poised and ready to. Uh, it's got a chance. Coley trying to get over Pye on the. I think it's a really deep throw in. Almost to the goal line. Throws short to Riley, taps back to McClintock. And back to Riley. Now that looked like a corner. Nick. We have a, you have a pretty big uh, target group in here right now with Pion, McClintock, Cartier, and Nate Brindle. And Burdett, and that's... Boy, it looked like the wind took that. I thought so, but Nate can't say anything. He's had two yellows in the last three games for dissent, so... Touches to JT. Good turn. Touches to... Palmieri turns. Nice touch to Mike. 
that shot off. Get that shot off. Yeah. The coach is yelling over there. Look at the movement. Yeah, he just didn't show any sort of a sort of urgency there to do anything. And Mike Mike has a, a, a pretty solid striking of the soccer ball, but we do have a deep set piece here right outside the 18. Now Mike might get his chance here. Did you, did you uh, hear whether this was direct or not? They look direct, I think. Great strike, it's dangerous, and Lenny Mills with a little flick with the outside of his foot in. Nice hard driven low ball by Cartier, and the goalie could only deflect it. Lenny Mills there to pounce on the rebound. Another goal for Lenny Mills. That extends Lenny's uh, goal scoring streak to three. I truly have no idea. Now, it was not an extensive wall, apparently. Uh, only a couple guys. It's a good sign for Lenny Mills to have scored in the last three contests for Upper St. Clair, and he's had, you know, I think six goals in his last three games, so he's, he's done a magnificent job. And you said junior, right? Oh, Lenny's, is, yeah, Lenny's an underclassman. Yeah, he's, he's also a standout baseball player. Had a really, yeah, I mean, you know, John was an excellent athlete, uh, class of 97, and they actually look and move very similarly. Yes, they do. Well, I think Lenny's a little taller. And I think he's faster, too. I mean, Lenny Mills is very fast. I couldn't tell. Just me, wishing. Yeah. Let's see, we're inside of 11 minutes now left. Panthers extended their lead to 3-0 on the Lenny Mills goal. Nice touch, Riley. Boy, that was miscommunication. Cartier touches, and this is Levine. Yeah, they were. That was finally the offside trap working, but just barely. They are not, uh, no, they're not communicating well on that play. It's a real tough call to make. A nice step in by McDowell. Levine's got time here. And he uses a nice touch up. Here's you with time. Cartier looking up for Paul Mary. Or no, excuse me, this is Riley. I think that's a corner. And yes, it is. Yeah, he looked like he got a little banged up in that collision, but uh, he did win a, a, a corner kick for St. Clair. Could be a line change coming. He's got uh, about almost another 11 guys warming up over there. Well, it is early in the season. It's non-conference. You want to get as many, you know, guys' experience sure, as you can. Get some experience. <laughs> Lenny tried to uh, bicycle that back, but this is Burke with space. Chipping in. He has Matt McClintock. Couldn't quite get it to him. Touches over. Shuley couldn't quite get good uh, a good piece of it, but Lenny's got it. Taps back to Levine. Oh, Levine has a man, but he's offsides. It's Matt again. Matty protested the call, but. Just under nine minutes left, three to nothing up for St. Clair. And it's, it's really nice to see, uh, you know, the first half was very evenly played. It's really nice to see St. Clair uh, assert some dominance in the second half, really played well. Now this is Mike Cartier. Cartier turns. On the ground. Can't play it on the ground. Yeah, it's dangerous. And that's why it's dangerous. 19 is down and injured. So Eric Levine's going to put the ball back into play. 
side to Matt. Boy, Chris is doing a great job over there. <laughs> For a kid who can't weigh more than about 150 pounds, he plays very strong. He's having a good laugh about it now. And Somebody else is going to take this kick. Yeah, I think Eric is. Matt McClintock's had a very strong game this afternoon. Uh, not surprising. He is the leader, the senior captain. Levine drives that one in. Cartier touched it. Can anybody get a foot on it for a shot now? Burke touches. Levine heads. Burke with time. Looking for Andrew Riley, and he's got him. Yeah, I did too. Oh, and this is what you like to see when you're ahead. Nice possession soccer. This is possession. They're, they're talking to each other. And dangerous little cross, forcing him to clear. You'd think it was coming. They were warming up. Down to a little, almost six minutes. And this program has become such an excellent soccer program that uh, they really do have a lot of depth. I mean, these guys have been getting beat up every day in practice for the last two years by, you know, the state back-to-back -back state champs. McClintock. Far post flicked on. This is you. Taps back to Nick. Yeah, they were definitely off. <laughs> Michael had a nice little flick, but uh, offsides. Cartier wins. Paul Mary tried to cross over, couldn't get there. And Nate Brindle wins that to uh, Paul Mary. Oh, nice touch over to Riley. Andrew dribbles in. Left footed strike, beautiful strike. Boy, he really got a good piece of that. Left handed strike, and the goalie taps over. And yes. Oh, he has. He's... And a nice round of applause for the Upper St. Clair starters who really played an excellent game today. And uh, leave with a 3 nothing lead. Five minutes left. I believe so. Yes. You know, but some of these faces we've seen a bunch today, Alt Cult and Burdett and Pion. Dangerous cross. Burdett touches. Alt called couldn't quite win that. Clay Rohner on the sidelines and it's out of bounds and it's and Clay's gonna stay there and throw the ball in. Looking for JT up front. And it's gonna roll for a goal kick. Yeah, Clay Rohner, uh, I believe he's a senior marking back, and, and he's done a nice job. Corey Trout's on the opposite side uh, at, at the mark. Oh, he's only a junior, excuse me, Clay is. Uh, Corey Trout is a senior on the other marking back. Struck well. Headed on. This is Pion. Trying to touch out to Burdett. And forcing the Erie McDowell defender to uh, tap it back. Throws in. JT uh, going to try to turn and shoot. He's got a little room. But that crosses. Oh, couldn't quite touch it down to his feet. Cleared long. Oh, and here we go. Now Kyle checks back and wins. This is Eric Wolf. No, oh, he's just, just an outstanding player. He hasn't had a whole lot of help. Sean Conboy touches it away, and Rona controls. This is Sean Conboy. Yes. Yes, absolutely. 
And Cole did such an outstanding job the last two years for the Panthers in the center mid. Oh, nice touch through. Number seven's got a little space here, trying to flick over to his teammate there. Wolf trying to shield and Lewis out, but uh, looks like it'll be a goal kick. Yeah, Vin, uh, the Vince kid, we don't know his last name, coming on for JT. And yeah, little Colin Fiduska. All and replacing Burdett, so we have all kinds of younger brothers of uh, s some of the stand. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, I mean, it's. It, it is. It's unbelievable uh, when you see brothers. You know, we have the same thing in basketball with Steve Meinbress uh, looking exactly like Dale. Oh, we have some space here up the wing. Nice little crossover. Now taps back. Trying to send it into the box. Nobody home. Oh, nice little through ball. Dangerous. Yeah, Vince was running on. Nice little attempt by Sean Conboy. Couldn't quite get there, and uh, we got a save. So we're inside of two minutes now. 3 nothing upper St. Clair. Oh, I've been, I've been informed that uh, Colin Fiduska is taking uh, Tyler Stevens' spot today because he's not dressed. Corey Trout wins. Still control. Taps in the middle. Yeah, kind of a dangerous tackle. And Kyle's going to take this uh, free kick here. I don't know. You have some size in there. Corey Trout's a pretty big kid. Don't know. Nice ball. Boy, Vince almost got his foot on that, too. That was beautiful, right in the box. Uve pleading for them to get back. Nice little crossover. And going to win a corner. Eric Wolf uh, in good defensive position. Yeah, McDowell seems to be in no hurry. I think frustration to set in a while ago for number three. He's just clearly an excellent skilled player. Nice strike. Headed out. Conboy got up and uh, put it out of danger. Three zero and one. Outstanding stuff from Upper St. Clair once again this evening, uh, this afternoon, and uh, you know the beat goes on. That I don't know, but I believe it's yeah, I believe it's Tuesday. No, and some of the section games are uh, some of the traditional section opponents coming up soon, so uh, it's good to see them in good form. All right. Good stuff. Just got to come with two cameras, four mics, four batteries, a couple tripods. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have the kink ironed out next time, baby. You don't worry about it. <laughs>